Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Germany against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defense. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And the game begins. Leon Goretzka really getting stuck in well the fact of the matter is it should never be a surprise to see Germany in a World Cup final but equally true is the fact that so many doubted Germany ahead of this World Cup they have been terrific they're here on merit and now Stuart they have designs on lifting the trophy for a fifth time yeah you're absolutely right we weren't quite sure at the start of the tournament what we were going to get from Germany but the manager has got the tactics right, he's picked the right players. There's a combination of experience as well. I think they've looked a really good team, and I've got every faith they will win this game today. Well, you get the feeling when you watch Harry Kane that he dedicates himself daily to being the best player he can be. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Kane. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. And behind it's gone for a corner. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Over it comes. Maguire. Body on the line. Blocked again. Rice. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Thomas Müller. Good tackle, take it away. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. Pretty comfortable piece of defending.
Germany struggling to keep hold of it. Thomas Müller. Perfect challenge. Kane. Foden. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Harry Kane. Kane. A real opening now. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Delivering it into the box. Oh, what a goal! Right out of the top drawer! Who could do better than that? Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. Goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Number 19, Mason Mount. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Gundogan doing well and getting forward here Gundogan but nothing comes of it good defending it was space afforded him Foden and Kimmich Thomas Müller now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Rudiger. This is Müller. Well, they have the ball once more. But from long distance, easy save. Well, the stats confirm that Germany have had the lion's share of possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Well, nicely cut out. Serge Gnabry, a move of promise on the flank. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go.
Kane. Disappointing pass. Leon Goretzka. Making progress. Shaw. Rice with it. Jude Bellingham. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. He must finish! Oh, a tremendous block. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the World Cup for the first time since 1966. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it. England, the world champions! Well, what a scene to witness. After 56 years of hurt, England need feel the pain no more. Well, what a night for the players, the coaching staff, and of course the fans who have roared England on tonight. What a night this is for English football.